Hello! So today I'm going to explore my old RISD portfolio that I submitted when I was a senior in high school. I graduated from RISD a year ago, so this is kind of a blast from the past, but I enjoy watching these videos and I think it's pretty cool how people seem to be posting more of them onto YouTube. I think that could be a good thing and a bad thing. Um, obviously you don't want to have someone's work completely influence yours. Um, but I think it's kind of nice just to see, you know, what other people are submitting and how they're approaching things. So I was able to log into Slide Room, which is the app that um, everyone submits their art to. And I actually found my old portfolio. And I did find it pretty funny uh, because I was recently looking at these videos on YouTube of accepted portfolios. And I feel like a lot of the things I submitted were actually different than what people kind of were advising. So a lot of what I heard from people um, who have already posted videos is that they were saying how RISD it really puts an emphasis on pushing things outside of the box, um, pushing your creative concepts, and not just showcasing your technical skills, but showcasing um, just your thinking behind your work. And while I do agree that this is kind of what RISD is known for, um, actually the pieces that I submitted were more traditional. I did a lot of kind of still life paintings and I put some figure drawings in there. So I think this is kind of a good example just to show that there's not one type of portfolio that RISD is looking for. I mean, obviously push yourself and, you know, try and be conceptual and creative, but also stay true to yourself. But yeah, let's get into the portfolio. <laughs> okay. So this first piece I titled Three Mangoes, very original title. Um, I actually, this is one of the ones that I like a bit more. I know it's not, you know, it's not crazy, like great technically or anything. Like it looks, it looks decent. But I guess what I like about it is just, uh, honestly, I like the yellow background and I like how that has like a very stark line between the warm yellow and the cool kind of blue white of the table. Okay, this is the second one. Again, I used to think this was, you know, pretty good technically, but now looking back on it, it's, it's pretty bad. What I do still like about it is the weird composition I have going here of cutting off those eggs like halfway through. This one is actually one of my better pieces in my opinion. Um, I just painted this from a photograph. It's my brother sitting in a chair in our living room. And I think what I like about it is just kind of the mood. I was going for kind of a hopper-esque type of mood. So although this piece is pretty straightforward, it's just a portrait of someone, I think it does elicit some emotion. The next piece is kind of the second part to that orange chair series. So I painted my mom and my dad in these orange chairs, and I tried to give it the same kind of mood or feeling where they're looking at each other, and you can tell there's some tension in the room. All right, this one I don't like very much. I don't think I really liked it at the time either. <laughs> It's just a succulent plant. I titled it succulent plant. So yeah, moving on from that one. This was my bicycle submission. I think RISD changed their requirements and they don't require the bicycle drawings, which is kind of sad because it used to be like a famous thing that everyone did. I also did a second bike drawing. Don't really know what to say about it. This, <laughs> another badly drawn um, piece, but basically it's just a landscape. I took a landscape drawing class outside of school. These are some figure drawings. Um, they are two minute gestures that I just did in my sketchbook. Here are some other figures. Okay, some more. These are 10 minute drawings. And another one. Wow, I, I included a lot of figure drawings. I think because I did do a lot of figure drawings, I went to these classes on the weekend. Um, it was just like a drop-in class. Um, okay, here's a page from my sketchbook called Animal Studies. I was very <laughs> creative with both the titles for my pieces and also the descriptions I gave them. Um, I would usually just give them a name of like literally <laughs> what the thing was. And then I said how big the piece was and what medium I used. And if I did it in school, like in class, or if it was self-directed. 
Um, this was a study for those bicycle drawings that I showed earlier. So here we get into something a little more unique, I think, about my portfolio. Um, is I took an architecture class in high school. This is just some sketchbook pages uh, from that class where we had to draw like these famous architectural buildings. And this is also from the architecture class and basically the assignment was to come up with a museum based off of an artist. So I chose the artist Francis Bacon and he does these very like grotesque looking paintings that are kind of surreal and they look kind of like meat and human flesh. Um, so I wanted the museum to reflect that. So I basically uh, decided to situate the building on a hill but then have the museum underground and then have this chunk of the hill cut out and cut away. Um, and in its place I had like rocks or this kind of jaggedy edge uh, to where the crescent is. I think just by looking at this piece you can see at least some effort in researching who this artist is and trying to incorporate it into this design. The next piece is also an architecture piece. Um, this is a little houseboat and yeah, just a model. It's my one 3D piece in here. Alright, so this is my last piece and this one is actually a film uh, from a film class that I took in high school. And basically our assignment was to uh, study a place and film a place. So I visited my local pizzeria and I just filmed people hanging out there and uh, people cooking pizza or playing on the piano. Um, yeah, looking back on it, it's like a very crappy film, but I think maybe it shows some aspect of design and just um, at least a thoughtfulness of like kind of the rhythm and pacing because I set it to this like jazzy kind of music and I cut on the beat and yeah. So that concludes my RISD portfolio. It's kind of fun looking back on this because it brings back some memories of just you know, being in high school or taking those art classes. I guess the college like application process is already over at this point in time. Um, I'm really curious as to, you know, in 2020 how they're going to do these art classes and how they're going to start up school with the whole pandemic. But I wish all of you who are either going to RISD or going to other schools or thinking about applying in the future, um, I wish the best of luck to you. I know it can be a stressful time, but really just enjoy making the art. I think that's important and just do what you want to do because in the end, I think any school would just want to see what you truly are doing as an artist. But yeah, thanks for watching and tune in next time for some more art related or post-college videos. Bye.